Dimitri, we're here at my favorite stadium, Newlands. It must make you so proud to know that you've won the Curry Cup and brought the trophy back to Cape Town. It was the greatest day of my life. It was, um, it's a privilege to bring it back to Cape Town after so long and back to such loyal supporters. It was nice to see a smile on their face. And uh, yeah, just I couldn't have hoped for anything else in my rugby career so far. Let's talk about your contribution. You kicked two very important drop goals. Yeah, well, uh, the one with my right, I thought was a more important one because we were one point ahead, so it gave us a bit of breathing space. Was it planned? The left foot drop goal was, was not planned. It was supposed to be a right foot drop goal, but uh, Pat put a bit of pressure on my right foot and I had to go on my left foot and luckily it went over. Okay, now are you sure you didn't kick with your left because your right foot's actually injured with a grubby toe? <laughs> <laughs> That's not the reason, eh? Pat was the reason why I went onto my left foot. <laughs> so what happened to that foot? It's a rugby injury which I'm very proud of actually. <laughs> <laughs> Dimitri, you are the master of drop kicks. I can hardly kick a ball through the posts. You have to teach me your secrets and your technique. Well, you've got to keep the ball in your hands as long as you can mm -hmm. before it touches the ground. Well, you've just got to get a good drop and then a nice follow through through the ball and uh, just count your lucky stars that it goes through. Against the guy who was already playing first team rugby at 15, Yanez needed a head start. No, I won't move closer. I'll just stay in the same spot. But fly halves know all the tricks. They invented them. Well done, bro. <laughs> Thanks, awesome Yanez. stuff. Thanks a lot. Uh, you're going to have your go now. But wait, is, it, is this the ladies kicking to you? Why, are you implying that I might have moved forward? I'm sure I was on the men's there. Eh? No, you kind of chucked your shoes there. Never mind. <laughs> Have a go. <laughs> if practice makes a winning kicker, then lack of it makes a right dog's breakfast. I cracked under the pressure. I'm going to ask for one more chance. Just give me a second chance. One more, please. Unfortunately, no pleading to the audience. In a game, you only get one shot. And if you fail, you if miss. If you fail, you fail, you lose. You don't win the curry cup. Fair is fair. Fair is fair. I'll take that. Thank you. <laughs> Pleasure. Between rugby and even playing soccer for Morocco Swallows, Dimitri's feet have paid the price and deserved some pampering. How's the toe holding up there? Uh, not too well. It's been like it for the last five years, so I can't say it's improving. <laughs> Carol, I guess it's important for men to be a bit more metrosexual these days and look after themselves. Definitely, and if you like Dimitri, who uses his feet quite a lot with rugby, um, all the more reason to have a pedicure. Keeps the feet in condition, gets rid of all the dry skin, and obviously helps for circulation as well. The fortunes of his rugby club, and someday maybe even South Africa, are invested in these digits. So this is forward planning. Dimitri, now that our feet are looking uh, very happy, I've actually got another surprise for you. I've got a trend advisor from Woolworths who's going to show us what to wear this summer. Let's check it out. Let's do this. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Fantastic. Dimitri, how are you? How are you? Uh, what exactly are the big summer trends this season? Okay, you know, it's one of the biggest global trends this summer is the year for men. Men are becoming more confident about fashion, wearing braver color, interested in grooming, interested in fragrance, interested in cut, fit, silhouette. So um, the three lifestyles we're looking at is Studio W, smart casual, and then a combination of modern casual taking us into resort. Let's start with what you're wearing. You're wearing what we call a smart casual. Cleaner shorts, check shirts with a pair of moccasins, um, the weave belt, absolutely important. And then we can team that up with a summer linen jacket. And you've just taken your very casual look to something a bit smarter. And you're ready for a sunset cocktail somewhere. Now the look's complete. This season we were very inspired by um, 50s Resort. The range offers the customer a slimmer silhouette, color chinos, slim fit shirts, colors cleaner, patterns bolder. For special occasions, their Studio W range strikes exactly the right balance in easy going glam. One of the key items is the tuxedo. Team that up with a modern white shirt for a bit more fun. You can either wear a geometric or a floral print. Other options in the range for glamour is also our silver grey slimline suit with piping detail. You could wear that with a golfer or you could wear it with a white shirt for a very crisp look. Now, summer is all about celebration, fun, and sometimes you need options from the beach to bar. And that's where EST comes into play. Um, so some of the key items that you need to invest in, a pair of colored chino pants, um, slim leg, roll it up with a pair of flip-flops, uh, a tank top and you're ready for the beach. And then obviously neon is such a big key trend, so we've exploded our golfer range into a neon palette. 
Also, a vital part to complete the look are accessories. Some of the key essentials and accessories, a trilby, a flat cap and colour, maybe a scarf, and the backpack or the handheld bag is quite key. Dimitri, I don't know about you, but I'm loving this new sporty look. Now, I know you beat me on the rugby field and embarrassed me with those drop kicks, but I have to tell you, on the tennis court, I've got a mean serve. Jeez, I don't know, Yanez. I'm going to have to see it to believe it. Huh? Mm, I'll uh, prove it. I hope you play as well as you dress, though. I hope so, too. This may be his last downtime for a while. Eastern Cape Rugby is being reborn with its inclusion in next year's Super 15, and Demi Katrakilis will spearhead their attack. You've uh, finished your contract with Western Province. What does the future hold for you? I'm on my way to PE to join the EP Kings, to play in the Super 15. And uh, I think it's a step in the right direction. And uh, looking forward to moving to PE and starting your life there. Ah. Did I keep my head down on that one? Well played. Well played, thank you. You know what, you're heading to the Southern Kings now. I'm 100% sure you're going to make all of us so proud. Oh, well, as long as I keep my head down, eh? Exactly. <laughs>